Key West is known as the southernmost city in the continental United States and sits famously at the end of Highway US-1 on mile marker zero, just 90 miles from Cuba. The famous Key West Monument is a concrete replica of a sea buoy proclaiming the city's geographical status and is one of the most visited and photographed attractions on the island. Playing host to almost a half million cruise ship passengers per year, the best way to tour Key West's many landmarks is by the famous conch trains. Most visitors simply choose to walk the famous Duval Street, which holds many bars, restaurants, and souvenir stores along its length. Key West plays host to over 20 annual events, festivals, and parades every year, which attract even more visitors. And Duval Street becomes a parade route during several of the summer's events. Architecturally, Key West has the largest collection of wood frame structures, nearly 3,000 in a National Register of Historic Districts. Among the many traditional houses and structures to be seen, visitors can tour the former home of Pulitzer Prize winning author Ernest Hemingway. Hemingway lived here in Key West from 1931 to 1940. As many as 60, six or seven toed polydactyl cats descended from Hemingway's original pet snowball are in residence at the house, exempt from the local law prohibiting more than four domestic pets per household. During his nine year residence, Hemingway wrote around 70% of his total output from his studio including For Whom the Bell Tolls and Death in the Afternoon. Hemingway's regular routine was to write from 6 a.m. until noon and spend the rest of the day deep sea fishing or at his favorite place, the famous Sloppy Joe's Bar on Duval Street, now named Captain Tony's Saloon. Throughout the year, Key West is a favorite among visitors for its fishing, relaxed atmosphere, and unique local flavor.